out here at the Avon Park Aero Modelers Club. We're going to be taking up the Arrows RC L39 Albatross. Now I'm going to hand launch her, obviously, with um, in the self-level mode, otherwise known as uh, stability mode. Because if you look at that uh, elevator, you can see how it's kind of tilted up right up here. That's trying to turn that plane this way. That's how you know your, your gyro is working. If you look right down the, the ailerons, if I turn this plane this way, see this aileron is kicking up this way? Well, what that would do, that would level the plane. That's called the self-leveling. And that's a great way to ensure a little bit of success in taking off with this plane, is to take off and self-level and then immediately switch to, I'd switch immediately to optimized mode, which are um, AS3X or wind mitigation. Um, or you can leave it in self-level if you want, but you're going to be very limited by your controls and your turns are going to be very, very wide. Now this is the first time I have flown this plane in a 4S. I am running the, if you can see in there, I'm running the 1500 mill, uh, milliamp 4S RC Hackers, which same battery that uh, Brian Phillips put in his plane. Um, the manufacturer says it's 3S. I disagree. I think 4S is the way to go. On all of these little planes, I have found that the ESC does not get hot or it does any more than it does on 3S. And the 4S just gives you just enough punch. And you gotta remember, power equals safety, okay? When you're getting into trouble, if you got the power to get yourself up out of trouble, that's where the 4S really comes into play. All right, we're in self-level mode. Motor is now on. Let me make sure of my directions, right, left, up and down. This has no rudder, so it's just a bank and yank only. So here we go. AS3X mode. There we go. Yeah, I like her on 4S so much more. This is the first time I've ever flown her on 4S. And oh boy, yeah. Definitely a difference. Time remaining, three minutes. Definitely a difference. You lost her? No, I'm not. All right. Bring her by. Kind of cruising there a little bit. Now understand, if you are going to fly her in 4S, don't fly full speed the whole time. Like I said, it's hard on the ESC. I actually need to move that 4S a little bit farther forward. She's flying like she's tail, uh, tail heavy. Let me go ahead and land her. I may, I may have a problem wanting to land her. She doesn't want to come out of the sky. All right. Time remaining, two minutes. All right, bring her back here towards me. All right. Let me move that battery back a little bit, or actually forward a little bit, because she just feels like she's a little tail heavy. When she's cruising along, if she's tilting like that, then she's too tail heavy. So let me move the battery back just a touch, just bear with me. Won't take but just a moment. There, that should be better. Okay. Put her back in self-level self again. And this time I'll land, I'll launch her the way you're actually intended where the hand holds underneath. Okay.
Yeah, that's much better. Much better. CG is everything. It is, it really is. CG is everything. A plane that's nose heavy flies poorly. A plane that is tail heavy usually only flies once. But see, she's got a much better attitude. Actually, I could probably even turn the, put the battery back even a little more forward. But that's, that's okay right there. Much better. Yeah, I like that much better. Gonna bring her by and glide her by. There, hit the coals. If you get a really close up look, my albatross has seen better days. I have rough and tumble this plane there we go little bounce and go there 20 seconds well that's the sort of thing that tears your plane up Ten, nine, eight. there we go if you see all the you get too slow She'll drop a wing on you like you saw just happen. And I don't know, my second or third flight, I had that happen while she just went tumbling. Motor off. And uh, that's the nice thing about foam planes. A couple of popsicle sticks, some hot glue, a little bit of paint, a little bit of creativity using your brain that the good Lord gave you. You can bring her right back fly bill this thing's been beat up crashed rough and tumbled so many times the fuselage actually broke all the way off and I have put popsicle sticks in there glued her back together got some silver paint the nose has come off more times than I can count and uh, as you saw she flies great so that's where I've got the RC hackers 1500 milliamp uh, for us, I've got an AR410 spectrum receiver, four channel receiver. You need the fourth channel to run the vector system, which is the, the gyro system. And you can use that, use your uh, rudder channel for that. Just sign it to a three position switch. And yeah, let's check the battery life. We flew for the full three and a half minutes. And she's just the perfect size to throw in the back of your car. Take her down to your local ball field, park, you know, and uh, just a great side, just handy. Still got 46% left, 46%. So I could have flown, you can fly a good four and a half, five minutes with uh, throttle management, four minutes if you're gonna keep her on the, on the coals in her. But uh, yeah, I got my finger I'm actually able to touch the ES, um, close to the ESC. I don't feel any ambient heat coming up through there. So I think 4S is the way to go. I'm not officially telling you that because the manufacturer says 3S, but run it on 4S. So folks, that is the RC, uh, the Aeros RC L39. Great flying plane. I highly recommend it. You get it at Hobby Zone. Um, I have a link in the description of this video. With a coupon code, you can go in there and take 10 bucks off the price using that link and that coupon code. And uh, make sure you put that link in all caps, FGFRC, FGFRC. Take 10 bucks off the price, make the $159 plane, $149 plane, uh, buy a battery with that. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, friends, and then awesome and awesome jets. Bye, y'all.